This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Last time on Delightful Travelers, we tried out van life for the very first time. We were both nervous and excited, but after driving for hours towards Utah, we settled right in. In this video, we're giving you the official tour of our new home on wheels. There's lots to unpack, but after the tour, we'll take you into Zion National Park with our pals, The Endless Adventure. I'm Trevor, and this is Anna. In this series, we're renting a camper van for the very first time and making our way around the southwest of the U.S. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. Welcome to Utah. I'm on my way now. Today is the day we are going to show you our new home on wheels. You might be able to see it in the background there. We absolutely love this thing. So today is only our second day with it, really the first full day that we have. <laughs> yeah. So keep in mind that we're definitely not experts, but we're gonna do our best to show you the ins and outs. We are currently in Utah, just outside of Zion National Park. We are staying at the most gorgeous campground. The views honestly don't get better than this. Yesterday we picked up this camper van in Las Vegas we drove about, I think it was about three hours through gorgeous mountains. It was visually stunning and now we're here. So this is a Winnebago Solus 59 PX and it is 21 feet long in length and it is maroon or red in color and we decided to call it Cherry. We've been talking, trying to come up with a name and we settled on Cherry. Let us know what you guys think. If you're excited about this whole series, hit the like button because that just helps us out. But now let's go closer to this guy. Check out the outside. Doesn't it look super nice? It's very, very modern. I'm honestly not sure of the year, but it would be something really, really recent. Probably a 2022, 2021, something like that. Maybe it's a 2023, not even sure. Because we rented this. So if you're wondering, we did not buy it. I kind of wish we did, but it's only a temporary thing. Maybe I'll feel differently after 10 days and be totally done with it. I can't wait to, well, I don't want this to be over, but I'm very curious how we're gonna feel after a long amount of time in here. But so pretty, so modern, love it. I am very curious what we're going to think after two weeks with this thing. We thought about van life in the past. We do have a tiny house so we can live in small spaces, but we'll see. We've been thinking about purchasing one. Not this, it's probably way too expensive, but we'll show you back here. We're gonna start with the back of the van. Do we call it a trunk? or a boot. <laughs> I think we call it a garage. That's what the van lifers say. All right, Anna's opening it up here. And I think there's another latch. Yeah, how does this open right there? Right there. There we go. So there's actually a lot of storage space. And again, going back to like some of the research that I did uh, before we actually rented this to try to look it up. Um, the regular Solis, like that doesn't have the, whatever the numbers are on the end. I forget what the <laughs> This is an are. X, right? Is yeah, or PX or PX. something, yeah, something yeah. like that. So the regular Solus doesn't have this space in the back. This is a something garage. Yeah, so. what, what this is for, we can explain this better. So here's our bed. We're going to get inside soon. Mm -hmm. You can fit like bicycles back here and yeah, lots, like of lots of like outdoor gear and stuff. We have right now some chairs. We have the ladder. We'll find out about that later. And just like a, there's a lot of storage. There's also the water hookup over here. Yep. I don't know exactly how it really <laughs> works. We haven't. There's a water tank. Well, obviously, so here really I'll take them in. So if I go closer, you guys might not be able to see this. There's basically they have like a gauge here where it says city water or if you're dry camping and you just move these levers the way you want it to go and you hook up the water. So yeah. it's good for first timers like it us. It is and it's like a little fun little puzzle to figure it out, but it's got good little things there. Um, and there's a huge storage space right there. And also there are some outlets as well. Some more things to point out here. You see these kind of nets, they're actually screens. So you can kind of let these down and we'll close together. And then you have this great breeze inside, it keeps all the bugs out. And then if I go over here, there's a couple different bars. Now these two with a little mechanism inside, you can hook this up and you might say like, what is this for? It's actually for an outdoor shower because the water's back there. You can hook up a shower head. And I believe you have to hold it, but you'll have a curtain here and you can get a shower outside. I mean, how cool is that? Especially in a setting like this. So here on the driver's side, you have all like the technical -y things. So basically this is where you plug in your electric. Of course it does come with the plug. And down here is the gray water tank that you can empty. And I think there's also the hose for that is on the other side <laughs> underneath. A that, and I just want to point it out, that tank is pretty big. You can see that white strip there. That's actually the gray water tank. So that's really cool. In here, this little like door here leads to something kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> so that is 
Well, the toilet's not in there, but something is. The tank for, it's called a cassette toilet. So it's basically a tank in there. You pull it out. We won't, we've been using it, so we're not going to do that right now. Pull it out, and then you can empty it, I think, maybe in that thing. With some yeah, we, we have to figure this out, but I believe that's what the white um, thing is for. And we'll figure that out probably later today. Yeah. But here's the other thing. You have your water and your electric uh, hookup. So it, it's actually pretty convenient, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and this is a little vent for the yeah. toilet because you will see the toilet in a little bit. I'll point out too, you'll see them on the inside. There are screens by the windows, that's which really is nice. very handy. Like That's really thought out. Yeah, you get a really nice cross breeze when you open all the windows. I think the last thing to show you guys is the gas is just right here. Uh, I just found it interesting that it's not in the back. Yeah, don't see that too very often. convenient too. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's got some big tires on it and it's very rugged and I don't know this thing we're calling her cherry right cherry, yeah one thing to point out too is uh, we figured this out yesterday the mirrors can actually go in as well like if you would just have oh, it yeah. parked and you don't want someone hitting your mirrors you slide right in by the way if you guys are watching this because you're just trying to find out info on the Winnebago Solus this is not going to be the most technical review ever however this is going to be a great review for people that are kind of trying this out for the first time we don't know every single thing about this guy of course especially after a day we have a lot to learn, but we're starting to know our way around. Before we take you inside the van, we just wanted to say a huge thanks to Squarespace for being a sponsor once again. I think you guys know by now just how much we love a Squarespace. We, of course, built our own website, DelayableTravelers.com, on their platform. They have dozens of customizable templates as well as pre-built layouts. You do not have to be super tech savvy or know any code to build your site. However, custom CSS can be applied to any site through their built-in CSS editor. One thing you might not know about Squarespace space is that they also provide tons of helpful marketing tools. They have mailing lists where you can easily enable newsletter signups for your website with the newsletter block. There's also social selling where you can integrate with Facebook and Instagram to sync your products so you can sell and advertise directly from posts, stories, and shops on your profile or page. Are you ready to build your own website? Head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash delightful travelers for 10% off your first website or domain name. And of course, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. Come on inside. Actually, wait one second, because I want to show you guys this. There's another net bug net here as well. So you pull this down, it zips up, but there's like a magnet on this side. So you don't have to like zip and unzip it every time you go out. You just pull it to the side and it snaps back. They thought of everything. They really did. Even little things like this, like here's a, I guess this could kind of be like a hook for your purse well, or it's actually, jacket. It is actually the seatbelt where the seatbelt goes in, but it oh. ends up being a really good hook. Awesome. We have other stuff on this side. So a bunch of gadgets. Yeah, stuff that I don't know. This is something to do with the battery. We haven't touched that at all. There's like some hookups. 12 things, volts. More USB. More USB ports. These are light switches. Light switches. So there's actually one light outside and I think there might be one on the other side as well. And then the other switch controls the lights on in here. The fridge is actually right here next to the door. It's got a little hook so you can like close it so it won't fly open when you're driving. Put that to the side, open the fridge. It's definitely not the biggest fridge in the world, but I would say for a van, it's really good. We bought a lot of stuff yesterday. We have a lot of cans in there. We've got soda water, maybe have some cheeky beers in there as well. There's a little compartment for ice as well. Like it's great. Up here in the front of the van, there's actually a lot of room. First of all, these two seats are really comfortable. I'm just sitting on it backwards now to try to illustrate what's happening up here. I'm not gonna talk about the dashboard too much, it's very modern, you can probably tell that, but it does have all the features you're gonna want. Of course, you got your cruise controls. It has like a cool little lock button to lock everything uh, at night. And probably the most important for us, it has CarPlay in the stereo. So you get some good speakers, and of course you got, you got a map to help you get around based off your phone. There's also a backup camera. Right, so this mirror turns into a camera, which is awesome, of course, when you're backing up. But not only that, when you're driving, it shows you everything that's behind you. So it's like a, a rear view mirror. And when you turn it off, it turns into an actual mirror. So that's a first. Maybe other van lifers, that's completely normal. But to us, I've never seen a mirror like that. It comes in really handy, especially when it's like your first time driving a vehicle like this. This is the biggest vehicle we've ever driven. By the way, the chairs that I was just sitting in, these actually turn around. This is one of those things we didn't figure out yet because we only had the van for less than like 24 hours. But it turns around and it can face where I'm at right now. So you can make a little seating area. But this is by far my favorite area. You can see what's going on here. I, it's a table, there's two chairs. So if you have a family, you can have two kids back here. It would fit, they'd fit comfortably. They're like leather seats. <laughs> and this table right now we have set up to be kind of stationary. We, you can, I believe, fold this down, but we didn't want to. 
and I have the office. So this is the mobile office. It comes in so handy. By the way, we work for ourselves, if you guys don't know. So we kind of travel around the world and we upload these videos and this is, this is so helpful. There's also, just for some reason on this campground, there's fast internet, like really fast Wi-Fi. Did not expect that out in kind of the middle of nowhere. Underneath me, there's actually more plugs. So it's gonna be hard to see from there, but you can plug in, well, I have my MacBook charger in there more USB, have another 12 volt. So they really have thought of every single thing. Just a couple more things about this area. Of course, these two seats here have full on seat belts that go right across the whole body. And this goes away and you can put it behind there. There's also storage under the seats. Yeah, and the, the table that she's talking about, it actually fits right in there where we have a couple bags. So yeah. that's pretty neat. And there's also a whole lot of storage up here as well. Mm -hmm. Now what's above us? <laughs> All right, so this we're not gonna show you because we're not gonna use it, but there is a pop top in here pops up and there is another I think Queen's big queen size bed up there it's got like the window things and everything it would be really nice if you were out camping somewhere really nice that's not too hot because I think it would get pretty hot up there in, in like really hot weather now how would you get up there <laughs> there is a ladder right we saw the ladder before I said we were gonna mention that yeah, so yeah. the ladder that is in the back right now is the ladder that you use to get up there Let's talk about the kitchen area. So, uh, a little extra space here. Oh, it's a little dirty. <laughs> but it's great for a cutting board if you actually clean it off first. Or just to add extra space to like store stuff when you're cooking and need, need to put some pots and pans and things around. There is also a two burner cooktop here and it is propane. So I like that you can put this down and put stuff on Yeah, it. that's really convenient. Yeah. Although it is glass, so I'd be slightly worried about it. But <laughs> and you also have your sink here, storage. There's loads of storage. Like up here we have uh, lots of different random stuff like glasses and bowls, oh. cutlery. <laughs> There's a toaster up there. And these all latch, of course. You can hear it kind of click. Oh, but also another cool thing, all of these have magnets at the top so they stay open. Yeah, that's a that's such a great feature. And then there's like little details. Well, I was gonna point out the W, that's like a coat hanger. Yeah. Um, this is not a little detail. This is like a whole section. It's kind of like the heart, isn't it, of the... So this is the basically the control panel of the entire place. Not exactly sure that what that is. I think it's basically like if you were ca camping in really cold weather, you turn this on and it like heats up your outdoor tanks or it like keeps them warm so they don't freeze. Not sure about this guy. Well, this is definitely the just the controller. It's telling us right now that we're charging because uh, we're plugged in outside. Mm -hmm. We have an LP and a valve switch. Now, this is one of those things. I'm not sure what that is. I know it's supposed to be on LP, but that's... All I, know. <laughs> I know up here, this is where we can control the heat. Like if we want to turn on hot water, we kind of push this in. And, and the heating. And the heating and things like that. So that's that's great. There's a pump switch here to turn water on in general. And then we have a generator start. So if we need a generator, we have it. We do have a generator. There is a generator under this as well, which is really, really cool. Also, if you want to check your battery, not your battery level, levels, sorry, different things, battery level. No, I don't know. Different <laughs> levels of different things. What I think is your gas or your propane. Your One gray is water. your gray water and the other is yeah. something else. This guy, you probably wondered what this is. You might be thinking it's a bunch of storage space. It is not. If I open this up, I will slowly disappear. And you might be able to see in, this is a toilet. Yes, there is a toilet in this van. I'm now inside, and if I close this, I actually do fit in this little toilet closet. Do I, what do I call this, toilet closet? It is kind of like a wet bathroom though. Shower curtain above me, there is a shower. What you do is you close the door and the whole room will get wet. There's even a place to like kind of uh, store the toilet paper. So you can do your business in here, but you can also kind of open the door. So take a look at this. If I open the door and let's say Anna is asleep, it does give you enough privacy if you need to do your business. I mean, if you're comfortable with the partner you're traveling with, you could use this. But of course, I think what most van lifers and RVers do is if you're at a campground and there's you know bathrooms, restrooms around, you're gonna use that before you use this because you gotta empty this guy, which I'm not looking forward to doing. One really neat feature to check your water level in your water tank. This is really cool. So you flip this switch and there's like a light in here. You can see our water is up, right about there. So we're down about a quarter of a tank. Yeah, you know, this is the switch here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so you turn it off, you turn it on, you can see how much water you what's have. Happening. That makes it easy. Welcome to the bedroom area. So we have opted to keep the bed down for now, but there is loads and loads of storage under there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like cabinets and things and like 
<laughs> nifty little spots to put everything there. And because it, there is so much space, it doesn't make it entirely inaccessible, which I kind of thought at the beginning. It was like, if we have the bed down, we won't mm -hmm. really be able to get anything out of there, but you can. You could actually crawl through there. <laughs> yeah, you can. It's huge. It's a huge amount of space. We do have our, um, Suitcases. Our suitcases and a whole bunch of other stuff under there. Of course, if we lived in here full time, we probably wouldn't have our suitcases with us. They just take up way too much space. Okay, I'm sure the question is: Is the bed comfortable? The bed is surprisingly comfortable. It, they're made. Of, it's made of kind of like the mats. They kind of look like mats from a sofa, but they're really, really, really comfortable. We slept in here last night for the first time. I slept really well. The AC. Mm -hmm. We should really talk about that. It's right above you, which is nice. Yeah. Kept us nice and cool. <laughs> There's also smoke alarms if anyone's wondering and Safety they're worried first. about that. Yep. Tons of storage, like more storage. Tons. So we have all our clothes and things up here with toiletries. Yeah. So we put all our toiletries basically on one side. We'll have to pack them up a little bit better when we actually mm -hmm. get on the road. And like Trevor's stuff is over here and then I definitely unpack too much stuff, but I put all my clothes up there. This one is quite a bit shallower than that one as well. Mm. It's also really bright back here, isn't it? Like that's like maybe my favorite feature. There's windows yeah, everywhere. I find with some vans and RVs, sometimes they're, this is all covered in stuff. So mm -hmm. you don't get the windows, but you can get a cross breeze here when you open up both the windows. There's loads of storage space. It's nice and bright. I really like this. And by the way, this does actually like pop up from here. So basically when you have this open, this side is kind of inaccessible. The bottom of the bed just covers all the way up mm -hmm. to the top here. And then this side is kind of a cushion. It's but not it really to sit on though. It's, it's kind not. of a waste of space. Well, it is kind of a waste of space, but I think you can sit here because there's another table. Mm -hmm. It's also just like randomly sitting under the, under the storage space. But I think it sets up right here as well. So you have an additional table, but with the front space being so awesome and you can actually like set set up four people there, I don't know why you wouldn't just keep the bed as it is. So that's pretty cool, right? We're absolutely loving this van. Driving around Utah and some other states is going to be so much fun, but we do want to talk about this town a little more. It's called Springdale and it's just this cute little mountain town. There's lodges, it has this alpine vibe. Also, the campground we're at, I have to mention that again, it's called Zion Canyon. It's super cool. Just the views are absolutely epic. Now, speaking of Zion, we are going to be going there in this video. So don't tune away yet. We got a permit to film in there and us and the guys behind us. You probably don't see anybody behind us, but you might, just might, recognize this RV. This RV belongs to the Endless Adventure. They're our good pals. They're actually not here right now. They're out filming their own video, but they're gonna be back here soon. So get ready. We're heading to Zion with the Endless Adventure. Well, the drive in to the park here is absolutely epic. And now we're here, we're on a trail called the Emerald Pool. <laughs> and I think we're gonna get to some Emerald Pools. But look at this. You have like a crazy kind of rushing river there. Well, the color of the water's like this brown color so we're really stoked to be in here i also want to remind you guys i think i said it earlier in the video this is a different day we have a permit to film so if anyone's watching we have a permit with the other guys the endless adventure that are with us so we're hoping we're going to get some epic views for you guys today so do you guys know how long of a walk or a climb this is like seven and a half miles i think one way so oh. 14 15 round trip she's kidding <laughs> we don't want to kill you guys for your what? first hike <laughs> i think it's like two maybe three miles round trip okay. yeah yeah nice jokesters these guys <laughs> we can't help ourselves <laughs> this is eric and allison by the way the endless adventure i don't think they even need an introduction but if you don't know who they are we travel around the world with these guys Quite often. This is cool. We're yeah. in the States with you guys. Yeah, yeah the first, first time, time meeting up <laughs> on this side of the world. Yeah. I don't think there is a bad view in this park, even from the ground, even driving in. It's absolutely stunning. Outside the park, it's even stunning, but we've made it maybe just like <laughs> not, point. Not far. Yeah. <laughs> two minute walking and it's, look at this. Look yes. at these like cliffs. Look at that. They're just straight up. It's, it's literally every where you look, we're just surrounded by it. It's nuts. <laughs> we've made it to the first emerald pool. I think it's of a three. Look at the waterfall. I did not expect that. I think probably during the summertime it's barely there, but the snow is currently melting off the top of the mountains and probably coming down and creating quite a bit of water. <laughs> oh, it's so worth it. Look at this. I know we're, we're actually getting a little bit wet, yeah. but uh, take a look at that. Uh, there is people on the other side. I'd, I'm sure you can't swim right. You're anything. not allowed to swim. No. Yeah, but still pretty epic. This isn't even that far in. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's actually we're getting wet in here. <laughs> pretty cool we're underneath this thing not bad at all <laughs> Eric's getting the shots this is awesome I mean it does not get much better than that are you wet 
A little bit, a little bit. It does get a little bit muddy behind here, so be prepared for that. A little bit slippery. I literally just washed my sneakers days ago in the washing machine, and now I'm gonna have to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, they're white, white sneakers. What so, do you do? Wear black sneakers, or maybe wear sandals. Hiking sandals. Hiking, hiking sandals. boots, probably. Yeah, is the best. hiking boots, probably. The rock face here. Look at the angle of it. I mean, it totally comes out. It's a little, it's a little scary, but it's worth it for the views. Oh wow, that's crazy. Look at the rocks, it's like we're it's under this thing. Right above us. I don't think I've ever walked through a canyon quite like that on a hike. It's really, really cool. By the way, just to clarify a few things, we were able to drive in here because we have a filming permit and it gave us a code to like, get into the section of the park. Whew, baby, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Normally you would just uh, park your car and then take the shuttle around. The closer you get to this top pool, the harder it gets. You see all the rocks behind us now, so we just kind of went on a groom path at first, then we went through some sand at the middle pool, oh, really? and now, I think you guys can see, we're about to be at, I think this is called the upper pool, even though we're going down. <laughs> we're trying to figure our way around uh, this pool. Huh? Yeah, my shoes are waterproof, but this is a little over, I think it would be over my uh, ankle, so. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that it was absolutely worth this hike to come up here. The views are incredible. We keep saying that it took us about an hour, and that's, as YouTubers, like we've been stopping, we've been filming. The upper pool. <laughs> the yeah. upper pool, yeah, yeah, I think I said that earlier. Okay. So we are on the upper pool. We had to walk down right at the very end at the upper pool, that's interesting, but you guys, it is worth it for all of these waterfalls and we are surrounded by the vertical cliffs still. So for those of you that aren't big hikers like me, I really d don't like really challenging hikes, so I'm a little nervous, although I did look it up and most people said it's not too, too bad. Basically, if you're going to the lower pool, super easy, so easy, like anybody can do it. It's all paved, it's flat, very, very simple. We didn't go to the middle pool because it was off in another direction as you make your way up to the upper pool. It was actually relatively easy getting up here. It was maybe the last two minutes. There's a lot of people going back and forth, so you have to kind of like get around mm. people, but it really wasn't that bad. I was saying earlier, you didn't hear me say it, that the terrain changed a few times. Went yeah. from flat to sand to all these rocks. <laughs> yeah, but in general, like if you're, you're watching this, you're thinking, I'm not a big hiker, but I would really like to be up there. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, look at this. Holy smokes, you guys. Holy smokes. Yeah. We were just chatting here and we were saying it's our first national park in the States together. Yeah, you've never been to one at all. I don't think, you don't think well, anyway. Here, I'll have to, I, I, I think my mother and father watch these videos and I'll have to ask them. I know they can't say it through the screen, but maybe when I was a teenager, they we often went to like New Hampshire and Vermont and uh, Maine and things like that from Nova Scotia, like a big road trip. Maybe we were in a national park there. Yeah, I've been to Grand Canyon before. And another thing, is White Mountains a national park in New Hampshire? I've been to White Mountains, I know that. So is it a national park? We can't yeah. Google it right now because yeah. we, we have, have no, no cell service. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, if you guys are thinking about coming uh, here to Zion, you have to do it. And this is just a sliver of the park. Now, like a it over little it. If this is sliver. like the worst part of it, it's, this, this park is amazing. Maybe it's the best part of it. It might be. Maybe you guys watching this yeah. video, if you've been to Zion before, yeah. let us know. Like, and the other people, favorite? yeah, the other people watching, leave a comment below for other like really amazing epic spots here in uh, Zion National Park. Well, that was an epic day. You guys can probably tell we had so much fun. Mm -hmm. You got to see the van. It's right back there. Right now, it's pretty late at night, and the sun's still out. It's like 8:30. I mean, the sun is sort of setting the camera makes it a bit brighter than it is <laughs> it is actually quite a bit darker than it looks in the camera but we're going to settle in for the night we're pretty tired we did some a lot, a lot of walking, a lot today, of walking a lot of and a lot of flights climbing. according to my watch so that was yeah. all worth it man the views are crazy so not only did you get the van tour you got to see zion some of zion national mm. park the emerald pools specifically highly recommended as you can tell mm -hmm. it was amazing it was wait i obviously knew it was going to be pretty amazing but Wow, it blew my mind. Yeah, so <clears throat> the plan next is uh, you're gonna have some more van videos coming up. We're actually trying to figure out where we're going tomorrow. So we don't have that finalized yet. Mm -hmm. So we can't tell you what's coming, but we know there's more and it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be so much fun, I cannot wait. We are going to a different area. So we're mm -hmm. leaving Zion and we're heading kind of south and like southwest West eventually. So that's as much as we can tell you at the mm -hmm. moment because it's as much as we possibly know. So yeah. if you got this far in the video and you like the van tour, if that's why you're here, it's Trevor and Anna, just to remind you, delightful travelers, hit subscribe, click the like button. If you're not new, we love that you guys come back every mm -hmm. week. Maybe you tuned in for the Zion tour. Yeah. <laughs> if so, <laughs> thanks again. But uh, yet, we're gonna pack it in, probably call it an early night because yeah. we gotta drive tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's gonna be an early night. I think everyone's sort of heading off to bed. Yeah, we appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. All right guys, that's it. From Zion in Utah, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.